Hi, my name is Tammy, and I've got an RV renovation for you. I bought this RV about five years ago, and I started renovating it before I moved into it. I had to quickly move into it. I didn't even have a toilet or my tub shower put in yet, and so I had to like be creative and do like composting toilet and go to the gym. Before we do a walkthrough, which I'm about to do, I just wanted to give you an overview of my background so you can understand my skill set that I have that went into this. from Baytown, Texas. So on my mother's side of the family, my grandfather worked at Exxon until he retired, and my grandmother worked at Bell's for over 25 years when it was on Texas Avenue in old downtown Baytown. My father's side of the family had a hardware lumber and gift store uh, that was very successful, thriving business for over 60 years. And uh, now this was before like the big box stores and the malls came in. And so it was like booming, like especially during Christmas or holidays, people would come in and uh, we had this huge uh, glassware area out in the front. My grandfather started that business and my grandmother worked there with him. And my father and my uncle and me and my sister for a little bit and then all my cousins worked there uh, during the holidays we were all gift wrapping so it was really busy but my grandfather started it it started out as home lumber company and it was on texas avenue in baytown texas and it was down by the old oak tree and then he moved it from there to go down to the very end of texas avenue and then it became woods home center Okay, so everybody knew my family uh, owned Woods Home Center. And the thing about Woods Home Center was that people would say all the time, they still come up to me and they're like, whatever you were trying to find, Woods has it. You now Woods has everything. One of my first uh, things that I did there as an artist, I'm an artist, I do uh, graphic arts and I also do home renovations. I've been doing both for a very long time, let's just say, 20 years plus okay <laughs> but anyway one of the first things i did was i did some signage on the back fence it was a big you know i guess two by four signs and that one was a, a big screw and <laughs> then it was a like a hammer and some chain and then another one was like a building you know a little house you know like lumber they were building but in the middle they said woods got it <laughs> so that was like our thing but uh my grandmother she had really a good work ethic. You know, she if she saw you standing around, she'd be like, oh, you've got to be doing something. She goes, you need to go over there and like, you know, rearrange that screw bin or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But then she, she realized that I was pretty good at rearranging the glassware. And so from then on, she was like, oh, just do that one. That one needs it. <laughs> So that's what I would do. I was in band in high school. I mean, I was a French horn player and I uh, played trumpet in jazz band and had a blast with that. I remember like the famous Robert Lee band when I was there and then Charles Fort was the director and it was just a huge thing. It was like a, so fun to go to the, the games Friday night into March. I mean, we, we were a huge band back then. <laughs>
So another cool thing I was involved with was the youth choir at Grace United Methodist Church. We were known as the Celebration Singers, and during the summer each year, right after school was out, we would go on a choir tour to different states and cities and perform musicals for the different churches. So anyway, went to college, wanted to major in art, and I was going to go for graphic design, and I heard about interior design. I'm like, well, that's what I want to do because I'm, I've always been interested in drafting and design. I mean, I started taking a drafting class in high school and I did really good in that. And as a matter of fact, my teacher, he would give assignments like uh, design a deck. You know, I was like, oh, okay. And I designed this really cool, it was like octagon shaped deck with like two levels and everything and had it all drafted out and laid out. And he was like, look, this is what Tammy did. I mean, none of the other people in my class would even do the assignment. I mean, it's so ridiculous. People were like, damn it, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> like stop I'm like no I like designing but anyway went to North Texas majored in interior design and you know I'm a, I'm a really good artist so my portfolio was really good you know I had some really good work and I've been working since I was 14 so I have really good work as it and the reason I'm going into this is because it it took me a while to finish college uh, but I'm like, I'm determined, I'm going to finish it, and then I'll go out and get my job, you know, whatever. So, I had an internship in Dallas, and they loved me. I mean, it was like a furniture dealership. Back then, the, uh, they had one person doing drafting, and like, the the whole room was the computer. <laughs> it was like really weird. But anyway, I was like, well, that's what I want to do. Because they were making really good money. And so, I was like, okay, I might go back there, you know. But something happened, I had to move back to Houston, and then... I could not, I mean, I sent out resumes for like two years and I could not even get an interview. And so I'm like, you know what? <laughs> you know, I had to take anything I could find. So I went to, I started going to engineering companies cause I'm like, well, I can draft, you know, I'll just go and draft. And when I was in college, it was board drafting. So we were board drafting. I really didn't do uh, like AutoCAD, but I did go back to school to learn AutoCAD. But anyway, that's another video. <laughs> I got jobs at a engineering company making, I don't know, seven fifty an hour, I think. It was just ridiculous. I'm like, I can make more money waiting tables. And so <laughs> well, that's what I did. I did that for a while. But then I, I don't know, I was out one day and I saw somebody painting some Christmas windows. It was Christmas time. I'm like, well, I could do that, you know, so... I started doing that and I was hand painting it and I'm like, oh God, it's taking way too long. So I'm like, I gotta learn airbrush. So I finally, I debated it for the longest time, overthunk it, you know? And so I finally just went out and bought an airbrush and I'm like, I'm gonna figure this thing out. And at the time I was making some yard figures, some Halloween yard figures. And um, so I'm like, well, I'm just gonna try to do the best I can. And so anyway, I airbrushed them and I'm like, oh, that doesn't look too good. <laughs> and um, I knew there was a place in the mall that had an, a t-shirt airbrushing uh, place that this guy ran. And so like, I'm gonna do these, I'm gonna take a picture of them and take them up there and see if he'll hire me. I know they're horrible, but anyway. Anyway, so I went up there and I said, y'all hire artists. He's like, well, do you airbrush? I'm like, well, I've tried. I went out and bought an airbrush and I did this and I showed him the pictures. I'm like, I know it doesn't look very good at all. I said, but he goes, well, no, that's, that's typical of, you know, somebody just starting out. He said, can you draw? And I'm like, well, yeah, I can draw. I'm like a good artist. He goes, oh, well, if you can draw, yeah, I'll hire you. I'll teach you. And so that's how I, I started out. I learned airbrushing was I worked at that t-shirt place, you know, so see if you just like make the effort, somebody can will hire you, you know, and they'll teach you. So anyway, that's how I learned. And, um, you know, that kind of spiraled into people stopping to ask me what else I did. And they're like, can you do a mural in my home and da, da, da. And so I just started doing anything that anybody needed, you know, and um, started doing a lot of uh, murals and signs. And, uh, and then one time I went out to a, a nightclub and I uh, asked that guy, I said, you need some artwork in here? He's like, oh, really? You do artwork? And anyway, so he's, he's like a really good friend of mine. And I've done like, I don't know how many nightclubs I did of his. I mean, different themes and everything. I love like coming up with themes and, and doing those. And um, 
And then I've done some restaurants. And here lately, I've been doing a lot of roller skating rinks. So, I know this video is about home renovation and my RV renovation. Uh, but I just want to talk a little bit about that so you can get an idea of my background. So, what I want this channel to be is a teaching channel. You know, not just about the, the RV renovation, but about different things. Different, you know, like painting techniques or artistic techniques or... You know, anything you want to learn about. You know, if you'll post down in the comments, hey, can you do a video on so-and-so? If enough people say enough about one thing, it's like, okay, I'll do a, I'll do a video on that. Because here's the deal. I've been doing renovations for a long time. And kind of the way I got into that was working at Woods Home Center. So I would deal with electricians and plumbers and carpenters that would come in there and they would... They knew that I worked there and that I knew where everything was in the store. And so they would come to find me and they'd have to explain what they were doing in order for me to find one little part for them, you know, or one, you know, a certain little screw or something. And so I learned so much about uh, construction and building and plumbing and electricity and all that stuff working there. And so I do all that. I do, um, I, believe it or not, I do a lot of plumbing. I do a, I do some electrical. You know, I don't do like heavy uh, rewiring electrical. Uh, you know, because it's just not legal for one day. But uh, I mean, if I'm doing it for myself, I'll I'll do a lot. I've already done complete bathrooms, the plumbing, the tub. I've turned showers into tubs, and I mean, pretty complicated stuff. I've I've done. Just it's not that hard. You just you just have to figure it out you know and you got to research it and figure it out I've done a lot of different things and I've, I've, I've used a lot of different materials and techniques and tools if and you need to know how to do something I mean every time I walk into Lowe's or Home Depot it's rare that I don't help someone you know, I've worked at Lowe's and I like working for myself though I'm very uh, very much entrepreneurial minded I mean my family had their own company so that's kind of how I how I work I like uh, uh, you know just doing my job and doing it right I've been wanting to do this video for a long time because I want to show it can be done if you just use your own talents to create something you know I do it all the time I do it every day and I've managed to make a living at it and uh, it's supported me for a very long time just using my own talents okay. I just remembered something I forgot to say about my background well my mother was involved with the theater uh, when we were young so I grew up doing stuff in the theater so I started out performing in the children's summer musicals and I also did uh, light sound and props which of course eventually progressed into other things like prop and set design and construction uh, scenic design and painting costume design makeup and just anything artistic or creative that the shows needed. And yes, I do acting, singing, dancing, some directing. Just love that uh, little theater. I mean, so that's another side of me. And um, the reason I'm mentioning that was because I used to watch this man who did the murals for the background in the theater. And that man's name was uh, Steve Barnett. Well, Steve Barnett uh, went on to Hollywood. I always thought, oh, I need to go and get a hold of him, you know, and see if I can work with him or whatever. But, okay, so he passed away. I've had many people come up to me and go like, why aren't you in Hollywood? Why aren't you doing stuff in Hollywood with your talents? And I'm like, probably should have gone to Hollywood uh, to at least, you know, like, work on the sets or something you know maybe a little bit of acting you know try to get in some acting but uh, hey being in the background wouldn't have been so bad either I wanted to mention that side of me hey so okay we're about to do the walkthrough okay but I want to go outside first and you see this cat house I built I have this is like the third time I have built it and this time I painted it black and it it really fits with the RV this time I'm real happy with it and I, I do have four cats, okay? I had five. I had to put one down uh, last year. He was just like everything to me. It was horrible, but um, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, we're gonna walk outside. We're gonna look at the cat house and then we'll, we'll head back in to the RV, okay? <music>
So this is how they come out, and they go down this step. <laughs> I have this ladder. My older cat sometimes can't get up too well. But I just put these lights up, and yes, I have a chandelier. And I just built this addition <laughs> onto the cat house. Instead of the tin ceiling, or roof, I should say, I use this clear plastic and then the white plastic. Well, hey there. Hey there. this wheel at Goodwill. <laughs> and, uh, this is the only one that has like taken to it. This thing kind of, it's hard to, to turn. He likes scratching on it mostly. <laughs> Okay, you'll have to excuse any mess you see on the floor because <laughs> I do live in this and I did paint the floor and the paint does <laughs> kind of get abused after a while so I'm just gonna do a walkthrough Let me just kind of scan the whole area. I know this is difficult to see with a video, but I wanted you to get an idea of what it looked like walking through it. Now everything you see has been redone. Ceiling, the walls, the trim. This is a horse trough <laughs> that I made into a tub. This is my favorite thing about the RV. So I've always wanted a clawfoot tub. And I saw this being used in some RVs and I'm like, that's what I want. <laughs> the thing is with these tubs, they come in a set of three. So if you get the outside one, it's going to be wider than the one, like the first one in the center. So I, I figured that out and I'm, cause I didn't think it was gonna be big enough, but then this one, it's actually pretty wide. I've got long legs. I can actually sit with my legs out in front in this tub. So it's it's really nice. The only does not stay warm for very long you know and when you go to fill it up 
it's like, <laughs> it'll take forever to fill up. So that's one drawback about it. I had this cabinet with the sink in it. I just reused it. This is Stuart. This is my tuxedo kitty. Stuart, yeah. He's such a cutie. He's my little buddy. Yeah, he's a good cat. They're all good cats, yeah. <laughs> so I have two long hair cats. One, they're both his sons. Okay, one's a, you know, tuxedo like him and one's just black. This is Cupcakes. <laughs> he thinks he's a, he's a, a female. So he's like a little, little tranny kitty. <laughs> and anyway, this is my, this is Sweetie. Yeah, that's Sweetie. <laughs> Yeah. And they are really good cats. They're just adorable. And so I have a mirror for my closet door. And this is really handy. This you can turn on by the back. That's my makeup mirror. I stand here and do my makeup. I have my makeup there. Okay, so this is another thing I got from Goodwill. It was a wine cabinet, I guess, and at the bottom, it had the the little boxes for the wine. I just took that out and put my dirty clothes hamper there. Um, this is a dresser I found on uh, Facebook or somewhere. 50 bucks, you know. It wasn't the greatest wood, but that was okay because I knew I was going to paint it anyway. And... I had to cut out the back for it to fit uh, on top of this little ledge that's on the RV below that. This is my bathroom door. This is my bathroom. So I have another mirror to cover up the, <laughs> the window in here. And then I've just decorated it. That usually has wet wipes in it here. I just don't have it in there right now. Okay, so this is a little antique cabinet I found at an antique store. It was an old clock cabinet, I think. And so I just repainted it, painted the center black, and then I put these little things in there. And if you see this, I have a little uh, instructions, <laughs> toilet etiquette, and over here I do too. Anyway, I just find little places everywhere to have like hangers, you know, like I've got this thing. I use that all the time to hang stuff on. Um, this is great for my robes and then, you know, like that's another little hanger. I have my jewelry on this thing. Some of it. You know, this thing, <laughs> another Goodwill find. This is brand new. It's normally like $70. I got it for, I don't know, maybe seven. Um, but that I, I use my shampoo, soap, conditioner, works out really well. Um, all these little things that you see like this, this is all Goodwill. This is Goodwill. Um, antique shop. I've, I had the chandeliers and the lights and I rewired this one so I could use it. Worked out beautiful. When I put the chandeliers in here, it really, like, <laughs> looked great. Okay, so you've got an idea of the place. Let me just, let me just go through each section. This is a closet, okay? It has uh, room for clothes on the top. And then for the bottom, you can also have a washer dryer unit but I chose to just use it as a closet. For the floor, what I did was I researched castles. So I knew I wanted a marble floor. I'm kind of into black and white. I kind of went with the whole black and white theme in here. And I knew I wanted the, you know, the black and white tile, but then I wanted to break it up with something different. So I found one castle that had this, uh, this pattern on the floor and I loved it. So uh, I did that.
so the floor, this floor, in order for me to get this wooden floor on the slide out, which I probably should redo because underneath this, I have two by fours. <laughs> And I probably, I should have used, uh, you know, like the metal two by fours, but I just didn't. And so it's really heavy. I even had a tow truck driver say like, uh, your RV's really heavy. I don't know why. I'm like, I know why. <laughs> but this was a dresser that I had. Um, I've actually had it since I was in high school. I just painted it and it used to have a mirror and I had it over where the sofa is, but then I got the sofa and I just decided to move it over here and just, it wouldn't, the mirror wouldn't fit, so I just put up a little mirror. The chairs I've had since college, I've repainted those chairs I don't know how many times. <laughs> I got it at a garage sale. The table, Goodwill. I don't know where we got that antique store somewhere, but, uh, you know, like, Goodwill. Candlesticks, probably most of them, Goodwill. And the sofa, friend was getting rid of it, gave it to me. It's a sleeper sofa. It's another good little piece. Here is Big Kitty. Big Kitty. Yeah. Now, this one is the brother of the one I had to put down. The one I had to put down, his name is Kitty Man. And he was supposed to be in this video. He was the talker. Kitty Man. Yeah. Yeah. That's my Kitty Man, huh? This one's just a lover boy. He is my older cat. He's like 14, 15. Not real sure. Um, but he's diabetic and he needs his insulin. So he's gotten a little thinner and older. And he's got cataracts. So I have to give him shots twice a day. But he's a very, very lovable cat. He loves people. Don't you? Yeah. So here's my desk area. This is a partition that I made out of two partitions. And the hinges on it actually hinge both ways. So it's real easy to like fold up. So see, they fold either way. And I did is put these little hooks on it so it'll attach to the walls so it won't, you know, it'll stay up. This is my desk area. So I made the the actual desk itself. This is just a piece of wood and uh, I put some pieces of wood on the, the ends, you know, and then this is just a file cabinet that sits underneath. Um, the top part I found at Goodwill, and then this part I found at Goodwill. Okay, so this is it folded out, okay? It makes a nice little space. I can actually use it as a drafting table too. It folds back up. This just folds away. So anyway, that's my desk area. This, um, this little thing I built in addition to what was already there. The sink that was here before, it was like a longer sink. I just redid the whole countertop out of, you know, out of a piece of wood. Got the sink, loved the faucet, got that. And uh, I just built this on. I think what this is, if I remember correctly, is a two by four with like uh, one by fours. Yeah, I think it's one by fours around it. And then, um, this, when the slide out comes in, this 
flips back, okay? So the slide out can come in. So I don't really use my stove. Uh, I do use an electric stove. I took it out because it just looked bad, but um, the reason for that is I had a propane leak. I didn't want to take any chances with my cat, so I just use this little electric cooktop to cook with. And um, that's why I have the little toaster oven. But, you know, it's not much space, but it's out fine. Uh, this is a little thing that my mother had. She gave it to me and I redid it. I redid the top and so this, you know, flips As up. you can see, the top is yellowed. I'm gonna have to repaint. The only thing about um, painting this, this countertop is that the paint is soft, okay? Even though it's dry, it's, it's soft. And so anytime you put something down on it, it's gonna leave a dent. And so I have repainted this thing already once and I think next time I go to repaint, which I'll probably have to do, is I'll go ahead and do an acrylic pour over it to get it to where it won't mess up anymore. Which, which means it's gonna be glossy, which I didn't want, but I think it'll be better. Now on the floor, when I painted it, what I used was exterior paint. If you ever paint white with water base, do not ever use oil-based polyurethane as a clear. It will yellow, okay? I did not do this on this floor because I knew better. Uh, so what I used is the water base by Memwax. It's the acrylic clear. And it works really good for like floors, furniture. If you do anything that's light colors or white, don't ever use oil, okay? It's gonna yellow. This thing had um, carpet on it. And so all the woodwork you see, I have, I totally redid all the woodwork there. This is the coolest thing ever. So uh, a while back, about a year ago, I was living in a different space and my neighbors had put their cat litter box underneath to where they didn't have a cat litter box inside. I'm like, oh, he made it. Good kitty. He wants to be on camera. He wants to be famous. I told him they were going to be famous, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I got that done right before Christmas. It was like my Christmas present. <laughs> and so I can get to the litter box from outside. And then I have a litter box out in the cat house. So now... I don't have any litter box inside and it's so nice. I just, I have to keep it clean. This one, if his litter box is not clean, oh my God. Yeah, he'll start using the restroom elsewhere, won't you? Okay. I've got to move, kitty, sorry. Stuart, let's see if I can get him to jump. Come on. Come here, buddy. Yay, all. <laughs> he pets himself. Stuart. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was trying to film you. So, Stuart is named after the Saturday Night Live skit where they have Stuart. Yes. No. No, no. So, yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> He's my buddy. What was here before was this corner shower. So I had to rip all that out and what it left was like this, there's like a big hole in the floor, uh, which was fine, you know, cause I knew I was going to cover it up anyway. And I had to redo the plumbing. I had to rig a bunch of stuff because RV plumbing is a lot different than home plumbing. I'm going to post like detailed videos of how I did things in here. Here, what I did was I found two long picture frames at Goodwill. There was a piece of wood in the, the frame and the other side of it was like a picture or something. I'm like, that'll work great. I turned it around, I spray painted it all silver and then I went to Hobby Lobby and bought the, uh, the metal containers that you see and then I just put it on there and that makes, it covers up the windows, which I don't need anyway by the bed. I mean, come on and uh, makes a great place for books and whatever you need to store in there. So on the other side, I just duplicated it. Those little things you see hanging off, I got those at Hobby Lobby too. Those hold drinks, 
It's great. I love my mirror. <laughs> but it's a good size closet. I would show you my closet, but it's stuffed full. Now I have way too many clothes for this RV. So my bed is really cool because it's electric. So the head comes up, the foot comes up. Um, the only bad thing about that is that it's a queen size bed and what was in here before was a full size bed. And so if I was to ever move, if I were to slide this slide in, it would hit that dresser. So what I have to do is I have to take out some drawers because the handles hit. So, you know, the moving process is a little time consuming, but it works. I mean, I'm not gonna be moving it around that much. Found that at Goodwill, thought that was funny, so put that in here. So yeah, the little shelf, Goodwill, the mirror, my mother had it. Uh, that was something I had, I've had that forever. I just painted it. Um, all the little trinkets you see in here, that's all Goodwill. Oh, this, there's like a pipe there. And I was like, I don't like the pipe. What about? getting a huge plumbing pipe and making it into a column. So that's what I did. So the back of this, let me see if I can pull it out. It's, it's not really set in there. So it comes out, see that, that was the pipe. And so what I did was I used a jigsaw and I sawed a portion of this out so that it could fit over the other pipe. And then it just fits up in there. Kind of fallen out a couple of times I need to I need to attach it better but and I just both finished it last so the ceiling and the walls so what was there before is just the the paneling they have for most RVs all of this was all the RV paneling the old brown stuff with the you know the trim <laughs> between each one I'm like oh no so what I did is I use uh, the joint compound that you have to mix up and uh, what that does, it creates a really hard set drywall mud. It keeps it from cracking a little bit. It still wants to crack in spots because I had some leaks on the roof. I didn't have it caulked good. And so I've had to redo this, I don't know how many times, but I finally fixed the spots up on the roof. And then I, I redid the whole ceiling to where it looks fairly even now. It still wants to show through. And it's not because I didn't tape and float it. It's just because it's it's just gonna show. But this is a uh, texturing technique that I have used, I don't know how many times. This man I was doing some work for, Mr. Dodson had me come over. They want me to redo their bathroom walls. And he was trying to explain this texture that he had seen. Between me and him, we came up with this. And I have used this technique I don't it covers up so much and it looks great I have done this technique with faux finishing over it it looks awesome these little mirrors I love these were my mother's and then that plate I don't know where I got this plate some I think a little antique store but I'm a Leo and so I collect lines <laughs> Now, how I painted the cabinets, so I've got an automotive spray gun. And so what I did before I had anything else done pretty much is I sprayed these cabinets with just, it was like an oil base. I think it was oil base Rust-Oleum paint. Um, you always want to do oil base on woodwork if you can, uh, especially on like cabinets because it just lasts longer. But if you're using white, you got to be real careful with the kind of paint you choose if you go oil-based because it will yellow. So all the white that you see is all, you know, water-based. Yeah. You talking to me? Huh? Yeah? You want to be famous? Huh? <laughs> He's a good cat. Oh, and this one, your sweetie. What you doing? And he is a sweet one. I know he's in your spot. This is his spot that Big Kitty just took. 
so <laughs> he's upset. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna jump up there anyway. Come on. <laughs> yeah. No. These two actually get along. The other kitties will fight Big Kitty. Which is sad. No, don't go over there. <laughs> I'll see what you're about to do. But this gives you an idea of what it looks like walking around. Now, a while back, I did get these TVs. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about that. I put, I mounted the TV onto the back of the cabinet. And so how I did that, let's see. I'll have to probably put in another video, but I did a special little thing up here too. I put some wine glass holders up there. And then this is the piece of wood I put to hold the mount in place for the TV. Because it had to be like major heavy duty for this TV. Let me show you my mount I did. As you can see, it comes out and then it swivels, you know. So it's really nice. I got it online, I think through Amazon. It's the piece on this side. So it's all bolted together. It's very sturdy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you see something in here that you want a better explanation of, just let me know. Put it down in the comment box. Guys, I would really appreciate uh, likes. If you like this video, if you found something valuable about it or interesting, please give me a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And if you have a chance, if you want to support my channel, I really appreciate you doing that. That's about it, guys. So I will see you on the next video. Let me know if you would like to see anything in particular, okay? Thanks guys, bye-bye.
because, 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 because of the wonderful cat that you are. Do, 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 do. We're off to see the steward, the wonderful steward of all. Yeah. I love you, Stuart. I love you, Stuart. I love you, Stuart. Yeah.